Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video and today I just want to talk to you some about something that's a little out of um, just redstone um, as it's used in uh, real life as well and this is binary um, now I know that many of you um, some uh, many of you either don't understand binary or um, don't see how it helps or don't see um, why we use it at all and um, I hope to try and to explain that to you today um, and this may go into more of a longer series of um, showing you adders, uh, how to make subtractors uh, all the different things you can do with um, binary numbers to yeah what you can do in redstone with binary numbers and what you can probably what you can do in real life with binary numbers okay so first thing that we're going to want to think about is how usual numbers are set up so if we have a 1 0 oh, we know in um, our terms this equals um, 10 but if we look at it it's got the 1 and the 10 the 1 um, is anywhere from 1 to 9 so we could have that 1 as 1 to 9 so it could so we could change that to 90 and it's still using the same amount of digits it's still using um, a 10 which is in the tens which is a 9 and the 0 and the 0 is in the units column which is also one uh, zero to nine really um, which you know we can then display any number just using how many columns we want of numbers zero to nine so we could just build this up really easy and that's still just using numbers zero to nine in the columns and that's how decimal numbers work now the problem is with um, computers is they can't really understand an image they can't understand uh, the 9 or the 3 so we need to break it down into signals now the smallest signals we can generally do um, for it to be able to understand quickly is on and off it is possible for computers to understand midway signals or um, when it when the signal varies in strength but with the advancements in uh, technology and the need for technology to spread uh, a far distance is now is become um, we often get a thing called uh, distortion or um, the signal doesn't become as clear as it was now if you did have a signal which was um, which was a, a clear on off at the start you could some or like a clear signal at the start where it did all the exact things they had to do to make sure that it sent the right signal to the other end by the other end that signal could have changed but with on off it's very unlikely that the signal will um, look different at the other end just because you can tell past a certain point is meant to be on in the line and under a certain point is meant to be off so it's very um, simple to be able to send on off signals um, along a uh, cable of some sort now right now as we talked before decimal numbers each column represents um, the the number of units that that number one number represents so with the first column it's just one unit with the second column it's ten units with the third column it's um, 100 units but with um, binary numbers we can only use zeros and ones as I said before so they have to find a way to be able to represent all the numbers we know just using a series of zeros and ones so that's why they came up with binary so as we would usually in numbers we start from the furthest on the right and this number here would represent a 1. So if this was on, you'd add a 1 to your um, one to your number. So that would be 
if, if that was on alone, that would just be the number 1. Now, the next number along here is 2. So, if only this one was on, we'd have 2. But if both numbers were on, so if I quickly come behind here, oops, and just flick off these two, just these two lights are on, so we know that column 2 is on, and column 1, so that equals 3, so we now know that the number is 3. Now the next column here is not, you may think it might be 3, but this is 4. This is because the way the numbers work is we're travelling up in squares. So, are we travelling up in squares? Or times times 2. We're travelling up in uh, times uh, 2. So, as you see there, it's 1. So it's 1 times 2 equals 2 then it goes up 1 times um, no 2 times 2 equals 4 and then we go 4 times 2 equals 8 and then we can carry this going and this just carries on going um, forever um, just all the way as long as you as big as you want the binary number to be so this can display like huge numbers in binary um, if you just keep this going just taking the last value and adding it to the next um, sequence so if you um, understand better in algebra as I sometimes do um, you can take it as um, so X would be your previous result. Uh, I'm just going to use Y because it's clearer than X. Because you see it, say that equals um, n. So then you can do n times two equals um, two n, and then n times two n times two. Ah, 2 times equals 4n. So you can just substitute any number you like into that. Um, so if you if you already started at 4, then you can just put 4 into here. 4 times 2 equals n. So you know the next one's going to be 8. And then you could work out the next one's going to be 16 because 8 times n times or 8 times 2 equals 16. Sorry if that confused anyone, um, don't mean to. Um, so we got that um, these two numbers equal 3. Um, but when we introduce the 4, if we wanted just to display 4, then we'd only want that light showing because we add up all the numbers that are on. So here we just have 4 and then nothing and nothing so it's 4 but then if we add 1 then we can know that this is 5 because we add the number 4 on we don't have any 2's and we add the number 1 so 4 plus 1 equals 5 and then to make 6 we just have the 2 on because we know that 4 plus 2 and then plus 0 equals 6 so that's how that works and then 7 we can just do what we did before with 3 and 4 plus 3 equals 7 so we know that all those lights are going to be on for 7 and then as we said before we know that this number is 8 because it is 2 times 4 so then we got to 7 now so that we can then take off all these numbers, put this number on, and it will now equal 8 because we have a 1 signal on the 8, so we know that it's going to be 8 in it. Then no signals on the 4, no signals on the 2, and no signals on the 1. So 8 plus 
0 plus 0 plus 0 equals um, 8. And then 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 9. So that's how we carry on counting up. Okay, so this is basic binary. I hope you understand. Um, if there's anything that you want me to uh, get into, if there's something about binary that you really just don't understand uh, or want um, help with, then uh, please do ask in the comments and I will try and explain it to you. Um, I think the next thing I will be moving on to is probably addition uh, with binary numbers unless anyone can think of um, something that is more worthwhile. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.